Oh, I can't I hear you. Oh. Okay, hold on. She's just getting very loud. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Okay, hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Very good. Is anybody is anybody hungry? No. No, no hungry. Okay. Anybody oh, hot? Yes. Are you no, hot? Dude. Oh, teacher is hot. No. I have no air. No. Okay. What is that, Ebas? What is it? I looks cool. Okay. Okay. So, does everybody have science books ready? We're doing science today. Yes. Okay. Very good. So we are first going to take out our textbook. This guy, science textbook. And what page are we on? Who can tell me? Let's have a look. What page? Let's see. I think we're on page 61. 61. What is 61 in Thai, students? Sip it. Yes? Yeah, okay. Okay. Are we all on page 61? Yes. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, so wrong way. There we go. So, how do we group materials? How do we group materials? So, we group materials that have the same properties together. So, for example, we have a belt. You know a belt? We have a belt. We have a cord and a host pipe. A host pipe, cord, and belt are flexible so they can bend. Are flexible. So these three are flexible. So our first group is called flexible. Flexible. Can we say that all together? Flexible. Okay. Next group down here. We have waterproof. These objects are waterproof. Yes, let's see what we got. So we have a plastic bottle. Plastic bottle. This is called a vase. Bars. Next one is called a fish bowl. Fish bowl. And this one is called a jug. 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 Okay, so these objects are waterproof. Waterproof. Can you see they hold water? You can put water inside. Okay, so that's our one group. Those are two groups. Oopsie. Hold on. Sorry, students. Oh, no. No animation. Oh, teacher forgot the animation. Hold on. Appear. Sorry. Oh, not disappear. Okay, there we go. One more time. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. So we're going to do the exercise. It says... What is common oh, no. properties of each object? Of each object, what is the common property? So our first one, we have the balloon. Yes. So, you know a balloon? So, 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 so. Rubber yes. band. And this guy is called a slinky. Slinky. You, know a slinky. you do that with the slinky? 
Oh, yes. Okay, so these objects are elastic slash can be stretched. So let's write. We're going to write. I know it's small. Elastic can be stretched. Elastic. Elastic. Can be stretched. So elastic means it can stretch. Like this, stretch. Very good. Let's wait for everyone. Okay, are we all done? No, done. Okay, so a balloon, balloon, elastic, elastic, and slinky. Can be stretched. Now remember, stretch is to pull. Stretch. Stretch. Okay, next. We have a pillow, sponge, and a doll. Okay, so these three are soft. Soft. Yes, these are soft. So we're going to write soft, S-O-F-T, soft. S-O-F-T, finish, finish, finish. So we have the pillow, pillow, sponge, and doll. Are no, soft. No. soft. Okay. Next, we have a wall. So this is the wall. Wall. Ladder. Ladder. You climb up the ladder. And a fishing rod. Yes, we use that to catch fish. Now these three are strong and hard strong and hard no. these three are strong and hard well strong slash hard Okay, finished. Very good. Okay, so one more time. We have the wall, ladder, finish. and fishing pole. They are strong and hard. Very good. These are strong and hard. Okay, next, page 62. Sorry, page 62. Next page, 62, we're going to talk about the page. Okay, so, it says at the top, what are some properties, properties of wood? Okay. So students, where does wood come from? Where does wood come from? Where do you get wood? Wood comes from trees. So trees are made out of wood. Well, we get wood from trees. Okay. So wood is hard and strong and can support heavy things. So a good example is a bookshelf. A bookshelf is strong and hard. 
Strong and heavy. Yes. We can use wood to make we have furniture. Have furniture. What furniture do we have? We have the table and chairs. <coughs> yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Next. Come on. Okay, next we're going to go to page 63. 63. Okay, so 63 says, what are some properties of paper? So, paper is made from wood. Wood. Yes. Wood. Paper is weak. It tears paper easily. Can you see? The paper bag off. is broken. So paper is not strong. Paper can also be bent. So you can make elephants out of paper. Remember, and also we made a boat out of paper and we made that frog. So you can use paper and you can bend it to make different things. Okay, next page. Oh, lots of talking. Next page. 64. Yeah. Page 64. Okay, look, there's Sars boat made out of paper. Okay, so page 64. What are some properties of metal? So what is made out of metal? We have a pot. So our first one is a pot. Then we have a necklace. Necklace. Next we have a medal. This is what you call a medal that you put on your shirt, a metal. And last, a metal pipe. Metal pipe. So these are things made out of metal. We also have an axe. An axe. You know what an axe is? Chop wood. Chop. Chop. So metal is hard and strong. Metal is hard and strong. It is stronger and harder than wood. So it's so strong we can cut wood with it. Over here we have the metal pot. So metal gets hot very quickly. Metal can get very hot. So we cook with metal pots. So we cook with metal because it gets hot. Right, next page. Next one. 65. Okay, 65. Okay. Some properties of glass. What are some properties of glass? So glass is hard and heavy. Hard and heavy. Glass is waterproof. It also lets light through, so you can see through glass. So you can see through glass. We use glass to make windows and fish tanks. So we put the fish in the fish tank. Glass breaks easily. Yeah, so glass can break easily. So if you throw a ball, the glass will break. So you must be very careful with glass. So glass is very hard, but breaks very easily. Okay. Oh, we're getting there. Next page. Page 66. Oh, lots of pages to read through. Page 66. Oh, it's a lot today. Okay, page 66. What are some properties of plastic? So things made out of plastic. Okay, 
So plastic is man-made. It's a man-made material, which means you or I have to make it. You can't find it. You have to make it. So our examples are plastic. We have a plastic water bottle. So a plastic water bottle. Next we have, it's either called a pail or a bucket. Up to you, pail or bucket. I don't know what to call this. Almost looks like a pencil case, but we have a fork and spoon. So let's call it a lunchbox. So we have a lunchbox. Very good. And our last one will be toys. Toys. Yeah. Very good. Plastic can be easily molded into different shapes. So you can make lots of shapes from plastic. Any shape you want. Okay, so plastic is waterproof. And it is very light, so it's not heavy. So plastic is waterproof and light. Okay. We're almost done. Next one. There are some properties of rubber. So rubber comes from trees. You get rubber from trees. Did you know that? Oh. Okay, so rubber comes from trees. We're going to go over to 67. Okay, so rubber is elastic, which means you can pull. Rubber is elastic. A rubber band, which is this object here, can change shape when it's stretched. So you can go from a circle to an oval and stretch a rubber band. It goes from circle to oval. And when it's done, it goes back to its original shape. So you start with a circle and you stretch into an oval and then it goes back to circle. So that will be the stretching, the elastic band. Rubber is waterproof. We use rubber to make rain boots and tires. So over here we have our rain boots and tires. <laughs> Tires go on the car. You know the tires on a car? Or your bicycle, or your scooter, or your motorbike. That's all made out of rubber. Okay, next. Next we have properties of fabric. Properties of fabric. Fabric can make many different materials. So you can make many different things from fabric. Okay, fabrics are rough, some are smooth. So you can have a rough fabric and a smooth fabric. Fabric can also absorb water, sucks in water. So when you make a mess and you use a cloth to wipe up the water, that's fabric and that's been absorbed. So our examples of fabric are, we have a towel, a scarf, and a tie. Okay, we're almost done. Two more, two more pages left and then we're done. Almost done. Oof. Lots of reading, I'm sorry. Okay, next page. Yes. May I go to the toilet? Yes, now go to the toilet. We'll wait for you. We just wait for now. He's just going to the toilet. Everyone can go to page 68, please. Our next property is bricks. We're going to talk about bricks. Just waiting for now. Anyone else need the toilet? Hello. Who's this? 
Oh, it's boss. Hello, boss. Okay, now I is back. So we are all on page 68. Yes? Okay, page 68. Yes. Let's talk about bricks. Property of bricks. Yeah. So bricks are made out of clay. Clay, clay. is a type of soil. We find it in the ground. Soil. Yes. Soil. Yes. We use bricks to build buildings. So we make buildings out of bricks. So your house wall is made out of bricks. Go to the shop 7-Eleven made out of bricks. Big C made out of bricks. So we use bricks to build buildings such as houses, shops, schools, everything. Okay. So our bricks are hard and strong. Hard and strong. It is durable and can withstand weather changes. So bricks can get hot, they can get cold, they can get wet. Any weather, bricks are good. That's why we build our homes out of bricks. Okay, I'm getting there. Next, we're going to do the activity on page 68. So we need to pay attention. We're going to do the activity. Are we ready? Yes. So we're going to match materials to its properties. So first one, we have metal. Okay, metal. Metal. So metal, let's have a look. Metal lets light through and breaks easily. No. Metal is strong, no. doesn't break. Metal floats in water. No. no. Metal doesn't float. Metal gets hot quickly. Yes. Yes. So we're going to draw a line from metal to get hot quickly. So let's draw a line. Metal to get hot quickly. It gets hot quickly. Okay. Okay, next one, we have glass. Glass. You yeah. like a window? Glass on the window? Glass lets light through and breaks easily. Yes. No. Yeah? No. Yes, it's yes. So glass lets light through. So you can see through glass. You can see through glass. I wish I had an example, but I don't. So you can see through the glass. Okay, next one. Rubber. What? So rubber, rubber floats in water and is able to support heavy things. No. 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 Rubber goes back to its original shape after being stretched, like a rubber band, yeah. circle. Yes, yeah. very good. So we draw a line from rubber to goes back to its original shape after being stretched. And then we know our last one, wood floats in water. And no. yes, wood floats and is able to support heavy things. Okay, okay. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Oh. Finish. Last page. Last page of this book, and then we're done. And then we're going to do an activity in our workbook. Okay, so this is the last page. So, first one, first thing. How do we choose materials for an object? So, for example, we have the sofa. Can you see the sofa? We make the sofa out of fabric. 
because fabric yes. is soft. Would you like to sit on wood or would you like to sit on a brick? No, not soft, it's hard. So if you want something soft, you would use fabric for the sofa. If you want something strong, you use wood or metal. If you want something to float like a boat, you use wood. Are boats made out of metal? No, they're made out of wood so they can float. Okay. If we want to cook something, if something needs to get hot, must be hot, we use metal. If we use plastic, it will melt. If we use fabric, it will go on fire. It will light on fire. So this is how we use different materials for different objects. For example, our t-shirt, t-shirt. What is our t-shirt made out of? It's made out of cotton. Fabric. And cotton is a fabric. So for example, this is made out of Traffic. cotton. Traffic. And we have, can you see? Oh, can't see. We have little plastic buttons. For example, over here we have scissors. What are scissors made out of? Metal. Metal, very metal. good, because metal is strong and scissors yeah. must be strong. Next, we have glasses. What are glasses yeah. made out of? Glasses is made out of glass, so you can see. So you can see through them. Okay. We're done in the textbook. Whoa, that was a lot in the textbook. Let's get ah! our workbook. Finally, workbook. There's a lot of pages to cover. Okay. Okay, in our workbook, page 40. 541. Did we do? Oh no, we we're meant to do that one. I forgot to update it. It's okay. We will do page 40 next time. We're going to go straight to page 41, okay? We'll do page 40, I think next week. Yes, next week we'll do page 40. Okay, so we're going to start with 41. Page 41. So let's have a look. Yeah. Let's have a look. Our first one, I call it, it's called a baby yeah, bottle. Mama. Baby, baby bottle. Baby. What is this made out of? What do you think? Plastic. Very plastic. good. So we have cloth, plastic. metal, plastic, wood, rubber. So we're going to draw a line plastic. to plastic. Very good. Plastic. plastic. Okay. Now, so the material is plastic. Material is plastic. The property, the property of plastic is does not break easily. So it is strong. So plastic is strong, does not break easily. Okay, next one. Next one, we have gloves. What is gloves made out of? Rubber. Are very good. Rubber. And the properties of rubber, remember? Rubber is elastic. So we elastic. draw a lot up to elastic. So rubber is elastic. Our next one, we have a cloth, a cloth, or a towel. Let's call it a towel. What do you use? What is a towel made out of? Oh. A towel is made out of fabric. Another word for fabric is cloth. Can you see cloth at the top? So cloth yeah. and fabric is the same thing. So it's the same. So we're going to draw a line up to cloth. And what are the properties of a cloth? 
It absorbs water, sucks in water. So if you mess water, you take your cloth or your tile, towel, and you wipe up the water. It absorbs the water. Okay. Next one, we have scissors. Scissors. Metal. Scissors is made out of metal. metal. Very good. Okay. So metal, is it strong or floats in water? Strong. Strong. Very strong. good. Metal is strong. Very good. Oh, wrong button. And then our last one, we have our boat. Our boat is made out of wood and wood floats in water. Yes. Okay. Everybody finish? No! Okay. We wait for everyone to finish. Don't worry, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Finish. 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 Very good. Let's wait for everyone to be finished. Finish. Finish. I'm, for, I'm just waiting for oh. snow. When you finish, you can close your book. Close your book when you're finished. No. Are you finished, Snow? No. Okay, Teacher. you let me know when you're finished, yeah? Okay, when you finish, you can close your book. That was, a lot. that was a lot of speaking and reading. Oh, I want to see. Okay, finish. Okay, don't forget to take photos of your work and send it to me. Thank you, students. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.